I'm Rachel McWilliams, and I'm one of the fosters and managers with Good Karma, Pet Rescue of South Florida. Okay, my name is Elita. I'm a volunteer for Good Karma. I've been doing since last year, almost a year. In the past, I fostered a couple dogs, so, and I have three dogs myself, so I kind of feel bad because they don't have place to go, especially puppies, and they'll end up in shelter. So I volunteer myself to do that. One of the last ones I had was Penny, and Penny showed up as a stray in Broward County um, Animal Care and Adoption, and she was uh, very sick. She had lots of hair loss, and she had been living in a trash pile uh, in a recycling bin somewhere in Hollywood. And I'm not sure how long she was there, but she was underweight, covered in fleas and ticks, and... Um, I'm pretty sure she was there for a while, so uh, when she popped up on the sites for saving uh, dogs at the county, Good Karma allowed me to go and pull her and bring her home to foster her. And in three months, I uh, turned her around, she grew her hair back, she gained some weight, she was learning to be potty trained and, and be with people and other animals, and she found a great home. For me, it's... I've been doing this for so long, so I have everything down the science, you know, like once I get a puppy, I know what to do, what's the next step. Yes, yeah, sometimes they come infected with fleas, ticks, but this is the thing that you have to do. You already know you're going to, you know, you don't get a clean puppy. You have to clean them, make them, you know, beautiful, so people, you know, so people adopt them. There's lots of benefits. I think you realize how you save the life of an animal, uh, you feel good about yourself, and I think the families that adopt the animals are very appreciative to have someone take this animal in, give them a life, give them love and attention, and, and train them to, to just be an, a house pet again. This week I had actually two of them gone yesterday. I mean, three gone yesterday. It was uh, Peyton and Tilly. They came in from the different rescue. We helped them. And my little Marmaduke also got adopted. And I have right now Dunking. It's a little Chewini and Mila. Mila cannot go home yet because she still has the stitches on her eyes. She's being, she had a surgery for her carry eyes. Her and the her mother and two, three of the siblings was abandoned in a cardboard box in front of a boarding facility. And they contacted the rescue group and we got them. She, all her siblings got adopted, great home. Mother got like, she went to the Keys. Her mom's living like in a paradise. This girl, unfortunately, she has to wait it until her eyes are all fixed. You can see she has a little stitches. Tuesday, she's gonna have the stitches removed. And after that, she's ready to go home. I don't think I let her go home. <laughs> you don't want to shop for a dog. Um, every time you take in a dog as a foster, you save that life. But what you also do is, if you're pulling from a county shelter, you're providing a space for another dog to go into the shelter and be saved. And then once your foster is adopted out, you can take in another dog or cat. It was, um, I think it was Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde came in to me like just really bones, especially Clyde. Clyde, you could see like bones in him. I had to put him in fluid for two days. He, could, he wouldn't eat it. I thought he's going to die on the day they brought it to me. But for some reason, he came in alive next day, like start eating, but little by little. So you have to learn to deal with things like that. So he don't eat dog food. So what I did, buy baby jar food. And he loves that. Little by little, mixed with the dog food, he really grew to be a very beautiful dog. It was the hardest really think for me to let him go because he got so like grateful and attached to you he'll follow me everywhere and it was hard for me to find a home for him because every time i take him to the doctor he wouldn't behave he would just jump 
jump like he don't want to stay there. Finally, one day we take him to the adoption event in the park and a boy fall in love with him and he just follows the boy everywhere. And finally, that's what he wants actually, the dog picks the owner. So when I took him to the, their house, the boy already introduced all his friends. The same day, they took him to the Boy Scout, and the dog had a blast. So until this day, the mother's like, thank me. You know, this is the things that make you want to foster. It is the update, you know, how grateful people are. Like, it could be a mutt, but for them, it's like family. And they're so thankful, you know. That's why I really love doing this. Open my eyes to how hard it is to rescue some animals and the bad conditions they're in and what it takes to get them healthy. Um, when they say it takes a village, sometimes it takes a village to save a dog that's um, maybe in a rural area or stray and is hard to catch and is injured. Um, so that, and it's really rewarding to take a dog that is sick. Um, get them healthy and find them their perfect homes and you make the dog happy or the cat happy and you make the family happy as well. If you really love, you know, like save life for going to shelter and see people, you know, getting happy, that's what it matters. You know, sometimes you can't tell go fostering because it's not easy. You really got to put your heart into because sometimes puppies, depending on the kind of dog, you really have to make a commitment, you know, and try to fix them because sometimes they come broken, you know, afraid or everything. So it's, I would say, if you have the heart, do it. But if you don't, don't, you know. It's, you gotta be really an animal lover and try, you know, save their life. What, Mila? Because there's so many dogs out there and cats that just need homes. There's no reason to pay all those big prices because when you rescue an animal, again, you save their life and you create an opening for another animal at the shelter. So you actually save two lives every time you, you rescue and adopt.